Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. So in this video, we are going to learn how to share product brochures with Facebook lead ads leads via WhatsApp. So I'm working with an admission cell of a university and I'm using Facebook lead ads to attract new admissions. So here in this case, I want whenever a new lead is generated in my Facebook lead ad, automatically a WhatsApp message should be sent to that lead with my college brochure. So here to build this connection, I need to connect these applications using an automation software named as Public Connect. So here to learn this process step by step, let me take you to my screen. Welcome to my screen. So in this video, we are going to learn how to share product brochures with Facebook leads via WhatsApp. So as I've already mentioned in my introduction that I work for a college admissions office and I use Facebook lead ads to attract prospective students. So here on my screen you can see my Facebook page of my university with the name Global Horizons University. And here I'm working for this university. So here to attract new admissions, I'm running some Facebook lead ads. And here in this case I want, whenever someone fills my Facebook lead ad, automatically a WhatsApp message should be sent to that lead so that I can quickly provide them with detailed information. So here by integrating Facebook lead ads with WhatsApp, I can automatically send college brochures to these leads. This way student gets the information right away, making it easier for them to consider our college. This approach helps me engage with potential students quickly and effectively, increasing their likelihood of applying. So here to build this connection, I need to connect my Facebook lead ads with my WhatsApp Cloud API. And here to build this connection, I'm going to use an automation software named as Pabli Connect. So Pabli Connect is an amazing automation and integration software and it connects all your favorite apps and makes them work together seamlessly. You can set it up to do things automatically like updating customer info across platforms or sending notifications when something important happens. It's really easy to use and saves you tons of time that you can spend on more important stuff. Plus, it keeps everything organized and error-free so you can focus on growing your business hustle-free. So this is the homepage of Pabli Connect and you can visit this page by simply browsing for the URL pabli.com slash connect. Here you can see two options that are sign in and sign up free. If you're a new user, click on sign up free and get 300 tasks every month to explore the software. And if you're an existing user, click on sign in. Here I'm an existing user, so I'm clicking on sign in. Now here after signing in, you can see all Pabli apps window where you can see all the applications of Pabli. Here to integrate my applications, I'm going to use Pabli Connect. This is the dashboard of Pabli Connect and here to build my connection, I need to create a workflow first. So for that, I'm going to click on this create workflow button given on the top right corner. Now here in this create workflow dialog box, I have to give a name to my workflow. So here I'm going to give the name as share product brochures with Facebook lead via WhatsApp. And now here I'm going to select my folder as automations. You can select your folder as per your need. Also you can create multiple folders to save your workflows accordingly. And now here to learn how to create a new folder in Pabli Connect, you have to click on this learn more link given over here. And by clicking on this, it will take you to our forum window where you can see all the instructions to how to create a new folder in Pabli Connect. So moving back to my Pabli's dashboard and here to create a new workflow, I'm going to click on this create button given over here. Now here in this workflow window, you can see two most important principles of an automation process that are trigger and action. Where trigger says when this happens and action says do this. That means action is a response to it's a trigger. Your automation can have a single trigger but multiple action steps. Now let's begin with our automation by simply setting up a trigger. So here I'm going to select my trigger application as Facebook lead ads. So Facebook lead ads are a type of advertising format on Facebook that helps businesses collect contact information from people interested in their products or services. They are used to generate leads directly on Facebook without requiring users to leave the platform to fill out a form on a website. When someone clicks on a lead ad, they see a form pre-filled with their Facebook information, making it quick and easy for them to submit their details, such as name, email address and phone number. 
Businesses use Facebook lead ads to build their customer base by capturing leads effectively, which they can then follow up with through email marketing, sales call or other communications to convert them into customers. It's a convenient way for businesses to reach potential customers and grow their sales directly on Facebook. So here in my Facebook lead ads trigger, I'm going to select my trigger event as new lead instant so that whenever a new lead is received in my Facebook lead ad, instantly Pabli Connect should capture the response. And now here to connect my Facebook lead ads with Pabli Connect, I'm going to click on this connect. Here to build a new connection, I'm going to select add new connection. If your Facebook lead ads account is already connected with Pabli Connect, then you can click on select existing connection. And now here to build a new connection, I'm going to click on this connect with Facebook lead ads. And authorization successful. So here you can see it easily got connected because I was already logged in in my Facebook account. So to build an easy connection, make sure you are already logged in in your Facebook account. So moving back to my Pabli's window. And now here after building a successful connection, moving forward. And here it is asking me to select my page. So as I've already shown you that I have my Facebook page with the name Global Horizons University. So moving back to my Pabli's window and here I'm going to search for my page that is Global Horizons University. So this is my page. And now here after selecting my page, here it is asking me to select the Legion form. So here to get this Legion form, let me take you to my Meta Business Suit. So this is my Meta Business Suit and here under Lead Ads form, you can see all the Lead Ads form which I have created for my use. So here you can create your own Lead Ad form as per your need. And now here in this case, I'm going to use my Lead Ad form which is named as Admission Inquiry. So moving back to Pabli's window and here I'm going to select my Legion form as Admission Inquiry. So here I've selected the single form because I want only the leads of this form should be captured by Pabli Connect. But if you want the leads of all the forms should be captured by Pabli Connect, then you can select all Legion forms. And now here after selecting my page and my Legion form, I'm going to click on the Save and Send Test Request. And now here after clicking on the save and send test request, here you can see as it is waiting for webhook response. That means here to receive a webhook response, we need to do a test submission. And to do a test submission, we need to generate a test lead in our Facebook lead ad. So here to generate a test lead, let me take you to Meta for Developers. So this is the homepage of Meta for Developers and from here I'm going to click on this more. And from here I'm going to select Tools. Now here under developer tools, I'm going to select a tool that is lead ads R2 debug tool. Now here under lead ads testing tool, you can see it is asking me to select my page and my form. So here I'm going to select my page which is named as Global Horizons University. And now here I'm going to select my form that is admission inquiry. And now here to generate a test lead, I'm going to click on this preview form given over here. And now here I'm going to enter a dummy data and do a test submission. So here for the first name, I'm going to enter the name as dummy, last name as user, email as dummy at the rate pabritudes.com. And here I'm going to enter a random phone number. And now here after entering all these details, here I'm going to click on this continue and then submit. And here you can see it says your test lead has been sent. So now let's go and check up Pabli's window. And here you can see we have successfully received the instant response over here where we have received the first name, last name, email, phone number and some other details. So with this we have successfully set up our trigger. Now let's move to action step and here I'm going to select my action application as WhatsApp Cloud API. So WhatsApp is a popular messaging app that lets you send text, make calls and share photos and videos with friends and family all for free. It works on smartphones and is super easy to use which is why so many people love it. With WhatsApp you can create group chats, send voice messages and even make video calls making it a great way to stay connected with loved ones no matter where they are in the world. People use WhatsApp because it's reliable, secure and offers a lot of features that make communication fun and convenient. 
So here in my WhatsApp Cloud API action, I'm going to select my action event as send template message so that whenever a new lead is received in my Facebook lead ads, automatically using a template, a WhatsApp message should be sent to that lead. And now here to connect my WhatsApp Cloud API with Public Connect, here I'm going to click on this connect. Here to build a new connection, I'm going to select add new connection. If your WhatsApp Cloud API account is already connected with Public Connect, then you can click on select existing connection. And now here to build a new connection, it is asking me for a token, phone number ID and WhatsApp business account ID. So here to get all these details, you need to set up your WhatsApp Cloud API account. And here to learn how to set up your WhatsApp Cloud API account, you can click on this learn more link given over here. And by clicking on this, it will take you to our forum window where you can see all the instructions to how to completely set up your WhatsApp Cloud API account. So here you have to follow these steps to create your own WhatsApp Cloud API account. So now moving back to my Pabli's window and now here to get all these details, I have already set up a temporary WhatsApp Cloud API account using Meta for developers. So this is my WhatsApp Cloud API setup and here you can see I have received a temporary access token, phone number ID and WhatsApp business account ID. But here you can see I have received a temporary access token that means this token will expire in 23 hours. So here to get a permanent access token, you need to set up your permanent WhatsApp Cloud API account. And to build that, you have to follow all the steps which I have shown you earlier. So now here I'm going to copy all these details and paste in my Pabli window. So now here I've entered all the details and now I'm going to click on this save. And here you can see we are now successfully connected. So now moving forward and then here it is asking me to give the template name. So here to get this template name, let me take you back to my WhatsApp Cloud API setup. And here in step 2 you can see it says to create your own message template click here. So here I'm going to click here. And here under message templates window you can see all the message templates which I have created for my use. If you want to learn how to create your own message template then you can check out the video on our YouTube channel. And now here I'm going to select my desired template that is brochure template. So I'm going to open it. So here you can see the template which I have drafted and here you can see I have already attached my brochure with the template. And here in the template body it says, Hello, ready to unlock your potential? Global Horizons University offers MBA, BBA, BCA, BMS, LLB and exciting opportunities to grow. Plus we have scholarships available to help you achieve your goals. Let's chat about your goals and see how we can make them a reality. Best regards, Jesse Matthew, Admission Cell, Global Horizons University. So here in my message, you can see that I have used a variable in the place of name. That is because here I want, whenever I receive a new lead through my Facebook lead ad, automatically this variable should update its value as per the lead name. So variables makes our text dynamic and you can add multiple variables in your draft. So moving back to Pabli's window. And here I'm going to select my template name as brochure template. And after selecting this template name, automatically this language code and selected template ID will be updated. And now here you can see it is asking me for recipient mobile number, header image URL and body field 1. So here instead of entering these details manually, here I'm going to map the data. Mapping data means insert data from previous step. That means here I'm going to map the data from the response I have received in my trigger step. Mapping makes our text dynamic so that whenever a new lead is received through our Facebook lead ad, automatically this previously existing detail will be updated with the new one. So here I'm going to map the recipient's phone number. So this is the recipient's phone number. So basically here I've mapped the number to whom I want to send this WhatsApp message. And now here it is asking me for a header image URL. That means here I have to enter the shareable link of my brochure that I have attached with my template. So here to get this shareable link, I have uploaded my brochure in my WordPress account. So here in my WordPress account, you can see I have already uploaded my brochure so that I can receive a shareable link of my file. But you can use any other application to get the shareable link of your file. So here I'm going to copy this URL by clicking on this copy URL option given over here. Now moving back to Pabli's window and now here I'm going to enter that URL. 
So here I've attached a shareable link of my file and now here it is asking me for body field 1. That means here I need to enter the value for my variable. So as I've already told you that I have used a variable in the place of name. So here I'm going to map my lead's first name. So this is my lead's first name. And now here after entering all the required data, I'm going to click on the save and send test request. But here before clicking on the save and send test request, I'm going to replace this dummy user number with my original number so that I can receive a WhatsApp message here. So here I've successfully added my WhatsApp number and now I'm going to click on the save and send test request. And here you can see I have successfully received a response over here where the message status is accepted. That means I have successfully sent a message on my WhatsApp number. So now let's go and check my WhatsApp. So here on my WhatsApp you can see we have successfully received a new message from WhatsApp API number. And here we have successfully received a college brochure attached with the message. And the message says, hey dummy, ready to unlock your potential? Global Horizons University offers MBA, BBA, BCA, BMS, LLB and exciting opportunities to grow. Plus we have scholarships available to help you achieve your goals. Let's chat about your goals and see how we can make them a reality. Best regards, Jesse Matthew, Admission Cell, Global Horizons University. So now here let me open this brochure. And here you can see my college brochure with which I have attached with my message template. So with this, we have successfully set up our automation. Now let me summarize this whole video for you. So here we have taken our trigger as Facebook lead ads and our action as WhatsApp Cloud API. So that whenever a new lead is generated in the Facebook lead ad, automatically a WhatsApp message should be sent to that lead with my product brochure. Now if you want to use the same workflow, then you can find the clone link in the description box below. I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. Not only these applications, you can integrate many other applications with Pabli Connect. If you have any doubt, you can contact us on support at zaritpabli.com. If you have any query, you can contact us on forum.pabli.com. And if you have any pricing related issue, then you can contact us on www.pabli.com. If you liked our video, please subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends.